Before starting the video, I would like to tell you something about ibpsguide.com. In their website, they daily provide you with free questions which will help you boost your preparation of either banking examination or SSC examination. Also, you can check out their test series which has very high standard questions and also all the questions are accompanied by detailed solutions. Okay, so you don't have to wonder here and there for the solutions and also towards the end of the test, they provide you with analysis that how well you have performed which are the areas which you must work on also the tests are available in both the language that is hindi and english so you can switch between both the languages and it is accessible either on mobile application or desktop whichever suits you okay for more information about ibps guide quality mocks you can visit their e-store that is e-store.ibpsguide.com now let's move on to our video hello friends welcome to ibps guide in this particular video we will be solving the input output question which was asked in sbi po pre-2018 exam which was held on 1st July. Okay. You can expect similar type of question on your 7th and 8th July paper of SBIPO pre-2018. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's move on to our question and solve it in the minimum time possible. So the direction of the question is like this. Study the following information carefully to answer the given questions. Number arrangement machine when given an input line of number arranges them following a particular rule in each step. Okay. So basically we are given our numbers as the input and this number arrangement machine is arranging those numbers using a particular rule. Okay. Aapke paas kya hota hai? Input mein kuch number hai. Aur ye jo number machine hai, ye aapka kya karta hai? Alag alag step mein aapke numbers ko jo hai arrange karta hai using a particular rule. Okay. The following is the illustration of the input and the rearrangement. So ye aapko ek example diya hai ki agar mein input deta hoon, to kis tarah se aapka number jo hai arrange ho raha hai. Okay. Now this is your input where certain numbers are given. Okay. And this is your step one step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 and step 5 is the last step okay so basically this is your output okay so the last step always gives you the output now we have to find out the particular logic and accordingly they will provide you with another input okay which is given in this next slide and you have to solve it using the same rule and answer the question okay aapko kya hoga yahan se to mujhe rule nikalna hai rule jaise hi pata chalega to main jo mujhe next slide mein input diya gaya hai usko bhi main kya karunga same rule se iska tarah table hum bana lenge is tarah se output nikalenge aur uske baad question jo hai usko solve karenge okay to agar main yahan input dekhta hu to this is 91 53 72 14 39 24 85 76 61 and 67 and step Step number one, if you look at this is 15, okay? And 91, what we have written first and second, me hai, right? Achha. And also at the end, you can see that this is 25, but initially it was 67. So 67, what we have done, second last, bana diya, and this is your new number we have introduced, okay? Now, if you look at the numbers given in the input, this is your 14, okay? And this is your 24, and these are the two smallest number, okay? This is the smallest, and this is the second smallest. Now, yahan agar aapke paas 14 hai, if I am able to add 1 to this 14, this will become 15. And since this is the smallest number, I am writing the smallest number to the left, but after adding 1 to it, okay? So the logic is, first we have to identify the smallest number, and then one add 1 to it, and write it on the left hand side. Now, again, we have to look at the second lowest, second lowest is 24, add 1 to it, then this will become 25 and write the second lowest on the right hand side, right? So, I think you will understand the logic. First, we will take the small one, we will add 1 in the left, we will take the second lowest, we will add 1 in the right, and we will take the right in the right. Do you understand? So, we have used these two because whatever you are using, you have to cross it so that we do not bother ourselves about these numbers anymore. Okay? Now, in step 2, if you look at here is your 15, okay? here is your 19, here is your 25, this is your new number that is 54 and here we have got 40. Okay? Now, among these numbers that is 91, 53, 72, 39, 39, 85, 76, 61 and 67, the smaller numbers are what? This is 39 and this is what? 53. Okay? These are the two smaller numbers left. Okay, because we have already used these these two numbers. Okay, so we have to uh, look for the remaining numbers. Now, among the remaining numbers, these are the two smallest, and this is the smallest one. So, if I add one to it, this will become forty. So, smallest I have to write in the left hand side. So, this is forty, and if I add one to it, this will become fifty-four, and fifty-four is written here. Okay, so this is also cancel out because we have used it. Now, among the remaining number, this is ninety-one, seventy-two, eighty-five, seventy-six, sixty-one, sixty-seven. These two are what the smallest number left. Now, this is the smallest. Okay, so last one. 62 will come plus 1, 68 will come. So, this is your third step. So, this these two are also used. Now, among the remaining number, this is your smallest and this is your second smallest. So, 72 plus 1 will become 73 and 76 plus 1 will become 77 in the fourth step. Okay. So, these two numbers are also used. Likewise, now we are left with 85. 85 plus 1 is what? 86 and 91 plus 1 is what? 92 and this is your output. Okay. So, we have understood what is the logic. We have to identify the smallest number, add 1 to the result and put it in the left hand side. 
Second, again, we have to look for the second lowest, add one to it and put it in the right hand side. This is the logic which is used and the numbers are arranged based on that particular logic. Okay. So, in the next slide, they have given us again our input. The input is 58, 40, 99, 28, 63, 84, 16, 34, 71, 87. Okay. So, we have to write the step number one, step number two, step number three and find out what will be the output and accordingly we have to solve this question. Okay. So, this is our uh, input. So, step one will be what? This is step one. Step one in which we have to identify the smaller number. The smallest number is 16 and the second smallest is what 58, 48. Uh, this is your second smallest. Okay. So, we have to add one to this 16 and this will become 17. Okay. And this is 28. So, this will become 29. Okay. Because I have to add one to these two results. Okay. Now, this 58 will uh, remain as it is. This is 49, then 99, 63, 84, 34. 71 and 87 okay so this is your first step okay likewise you have to find the second step third step up till you are obtained your output okay and after getting the uh, all the steps you have to answer this question five question okay so since we have already answered the logic that is used in this particular input output problem i will give this particular problem as an exercise to you okay so you have to find the different steps and accordingly answer the question and i will tell you whether your answers are correct or not okay aapko kya karna hai iska different step likhna hai output tak phir is question ko solve karo aapka jo bhi answer aata hai comment section mein you have to write and i will tell you ki aapka answer sahi hai ya galat hai okay so with this i will conclude today's lecture if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ibps guide and for their quality mocks you can check out the description thank you so much